Hey guys, I thought I'd do something a little different and do a bi-weekly love reading um, from a different perspective today to mix things up. Um, all right, so Spirit, I want to do, for some reason I feel like doing a little message also for those of you who are in union, so in a relationship already, true love in a relationship. So we'll do messages for both. Okay, we don't need this right now. Okay. So where? Okay, feeling drawn to these. Okay. Where are? Well, we were calling this the masculine support. Uh, ripple. Oh, maybe it's the masculine support too. Yeah, I guess so. But the masculine report because the masculines, you know. For those of you in separation, the masculines are ones are the ones who are not talking, <laughs> basically. So we have to try to read our minds through the cards. So, Spirit, God, please be with us. Help us to see the truth in all things. Help support us at the highest level possible for our growth and um, and our peace of mind. Assure us and um, and speak the truth. Thank you. So this is where the masculines are having to be patient right now. Okay, patience. Uh, okay, dense fog. Water represents our emotions, our feelings, our subconscious, and our nocturnal dreams. When the water becomes condensed as fog, we, can see, we can't see clearly. Fog occurs when the air is cooled to the point at which it cannot hold all the water vapor it contains. Thus, it condenses water vapor where it's suspended in the air as fog. We can't see what's ahead, and things that look one way in the fog will look another way in the light. However, when you can't perceive what's on the horizon in life, your imagination can surge forward and your sixth sense could be ignited. In dense fog, it's best to be quiet and still for now. Don't go forward, wait. It's hard to see what lies ahead and things may not be as they seem. Things that seem one way, in fact, could be completely different. Be patient, the truth will emerge. In this state of obscured visibility, your imagination and intuition can be sparked. If you can wait long enough, your dreams and inner yearnings can come to fruition. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to those seemingly random thoughts. Okay. So let's take a look at some tarot cards about this situation where they feel they have to be patient. Why, Spirit, do they feel like they need to be patient? Why do they feel like they need to be patient? It seems that everyone's been patient enough. <laughs> I understand it because our world is in a crazy place. So they're manifesting. They're dreaming of what they want to create in the future. They're taking their time to imagine because um, they want things to come together. And they want to offer you something substantial, something big. So I think they're just being... Um, I feel like the fog has kind of pulled them back to have to go in to themselves. Like, what do I want? What do I like sense and feel? Can I feel this working out? Do I see um, in my imagination? Do I, do I sense or feel how this can go forward? Um, they might be using visualization and things like that to try to manifest this day. They're daydreaming. Um, about how they can make this offer. So they're being patient. Maybe I feel like some other things need to be, um, some other things need to be worked through as well. Maybe some legal matters. Okay, so he's getting in his power and he's getting ready to come running to you. And he's manifesting this new beginning, but he's manifesting it. It's not manifested yet. So he's really put you up on a pedestal really wants to talk to you and is spying on you on the meantime, in the meantime. So they know that you are their wish fulfillment. You are what they want. 
They want to put their arms around you and feel you. They want to dream of, they want to dream with you. They want to see if you share the same dream. They want to wake up every morning and have breakfast with you. They want to go to bed with you every night and talk to you as you, as you guys fall asleep. They really want to get to know you. And they are, um, they've been very patient um, for some time, but it's like, it, it kind of feels like the, the final, um, the final, they just, they just said the final feels before they go. So they love you. Yeah. Look at that. That's the guy who's in his feels. He may not be telling you, he may have a poker face on, but um, yeah, he definitely is just kind of taking, taking pause. They just said he's taking pause to balance out. Maybe if he just had a whirlwind of things going on in his life or yeah, I feel like the dust is settling from some things. And he's having to find balance within himself. Um, what's his circumstances like in his environment? Queen of Pentacles. Someone's after his money, maybe. Maybe somebody's being kind of, um, is this somebody being selfish? Like somebody trying to persuade the masculine about money? Yeah. Something he's walking away from. Something he's walking away from because it was it's toxic. And he's recognizing that now. So that's good. Um, I feel like he, they just said he's getting smart. Um, and at the bottom, it, I think they were trying to tell him, look, you can have success if you listen to me. Um, you know, if you do, if you do as I say, or, you know, we could have success together. Um, but spirit, how do you feel about this person trying to tell him that when they're just after his money? They're, they're a player trying to sabotage you. They're just playing they're just playing you masculines. So the masculines are getting played by somebody who just wants their money. Um, and they're, look, they're walking away from it. They're getting stuck from it. They got stuck in it for a minute. They fell for it for a minute, but now they're, they're like, you know, shaking loose of it because he loves you. So um, yeah, his, it looks like his love for you is driving him into like really going deep within. He's, I think he's meditating. I think he's meditating too. And I think that there's, he might have to make a change in his work or he's doing something that he, he wants to manifest bringing in the money, not doing it through somebody who's trying to manipulate him or the way that maybe, um, maybe this person has always been able to influence him or, or people have always been in, able to influence him that way. And he wants to do it himself now. He wants to see how he can be successful on his own now is what I feel with that. All right. So we're going to put the him there. Um, and yeah, and he sees you as this person he can have that kind of success with. He knows that you can do just about anything together. Um, he really, he really looks up to you a lot, respects you a lot, and you help him be in his power. You help him feel like he can do it, like he can be powerful. Um, so at the right time, he's going to, he's going to be charging at you. He's just taking pause for just a moment before you guys can go giggling and sharing information and getting on the same page and have that commitment happen um, between you. So, okay. <clears throat> what? No, we'll do that later. So believe in your own magic. We're going to use this deck for a moment. Okay. <laughs> That's Annie eating her. Having fun with her little, I don't know, her little fun dish. If you guys want to check that out, we have it. I have it on my Insta fam fun. Villain, you can always rewrite the story. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what that's about, so we'll read it. But this is what it looks like. Okay. Number 38. Okay, 38. Um, you can always rewrite the story. A hard truth to swallow. Sometimes our villains win. However, that doesn't mean you should give up or lose all hope. It just means that it's time to rewrite the story and keep going. It can, it can be incredibly freeing and empowering to reclaim yourself after a personal tragedy. Wow. So remember how I just said that they were balancing after a period of of wonky energy. So 
Um, let's find out more about that. Let's look at some masculine cards. So they've been made up to be a villain or maybe the, the villain, you know, won in some way. Like they feel like maybe they felt defeated a bit by something. Maybe it was that person who was the, the queen of, of coins that just wanted money. Um, yeah, he's learning to be wiser with his purse. You know, he's, he's learning to hold back from the people who really just don't, don't deserve it um, and give to those who, who do. <laughs> okay. Wow, I'm on my way to you right now. I'm so excited. Um, I may have to lay low till I get there so no one tries to stop me. Oh, my God, I can't wait to see you. See, so no one tries to stop me. That queen of pentacles, she was trying to put the kibosh on this connection. Um, okay, I could really use some consistent messages of love while I go through some tough stuff. Please hold my hand from a distance while I get over this hump and I'll explain later. See, <laughs> it's just more confirmation that he's been going through um, kind of a, a tough time <clears throat> and he's about to pounce, but uh, he's just kind of got to got to reassess some things right now. Maybe take a look at his money or take a look at his finances or take a, take a look, assess uh, his financial situation or his job or his work. Um, he doesn't want to people please anymore. He wants to break away from the people pleasing, being like everybody else. And I just heard in the industry, he wants to do something than that um, than other people are doing in that industry. Oh, I'm afraid I'll push you away out of feeling unworthy. Let me work on loving myself. That card is also about loving yourself. It's also about psychological manipulation too. So I feel like there could be um, a queen of swords in his life also, or maybe that same person who's very cutting and he is loving, finally loving himself enough to have good boundaries with this person. They don't look too happy about it though. Do they? They're just like, Hmm. Never seen him have boundaries like this before. You know, she's trying to strategize. What do I do now? Or is this the end of the end of the road for her? You know, he's just blocked. And look at, he has a little smile on his face. He's like, <laughs> I did it. You know, I finally asserted myself with her and have, you know, established some good boundaries. So he's working on loving himself. He also doesn't want to come in and be a villain to you. Like these other people, he's had, it feels like he's had a lot of manipulation in his life and he's learning how to see through it. Yeah, learning. He could also be, I mean, this is a spy card that he's watching you, but he's also been learning and studying some things, I feel, to make sure that you guys get a good firm foundation underneath you, that it's a good, healthy connection, healthy relationship. Yeah, whoever this, uh, whoever this person is, this Queen of Pentacles, you know, they're trying to act all cool about it. But secretly, they're just like, hmm, you know, trying to come up with a different way, a workaround. They're trying to they're trying to come up with a see they're look at they're looking at her. They're looking at you. And they're like, hmm, what do I do? What do I do? How do I get her out of here so that I can have my way so that I can have what I want from him? He's always been putty in my hands, she just said. He's always been putty in my hands. And that could be the energy of it. You know, it could be, it could be multiple people feeling that he is someone who's easily charmed, easily manipulated, you know? So good for him though. Uh, he's been seeing tons of signs and synchronicities that remind you of him. It's unreal. Um, it's made him feel really certain that you're the one for him and that you guys have a bright future. He just has to figure out how to follow, how to follow the signs, you know, like, how do I make this work? How do I make this happen? He says, please give me the space I need. I have to figure this out on my own so I can feel proud of myself. You know, he doesn't want to feel pushed into this. He, he's already proud of himself. I feel about some of these things that he's been able to do now. Uh, you know, it's, it's always hard to hear some truths, you know, to realize that you've, um, kind of gotten duped 
And, um, you know, it's, it, it can be, it can be hard. It can be hard, but it also makes you wiser and stronger, you know, unmanipulatable. Okay. Oh, I just saw, oh my, what we, what, okay. <laughs> okay. He has to take care of a child matter right now or someone who's dependent on him. That might even be the person who's, he's trying to cut out or have boundaries with. You know, a lot of these masculines financially support somebody who's completely ungrateful and they just take him for granted. So maybe he stopped, he stopped doing that. Um, and so now he's getting a bunch of, I feel like a bunch of fire, like a dragon at him. Like, so like this person is he, you know, he's, he's having to be really strong right now. It could be the mother of his child actually. Um, or it could be, it's his mother. And he's the child. Maybe he was dependent on somebody. Maybe somebody was get, was providing for him in some in some way. Now he's broken apart to be independent. Now, um, let's. I'm going to get some cards on that. I think Spirit wants to tell us more about that. <clears throat> um, yeah. So taking care of a child or a dependency issue. Um, oh, he says, I know you think your body isn't perfect. So if you've been thinking that, if you've been feeling kind of insecure about being intimate with him, he's like, it's perfect to me. Your body's completely perfect to me. And I often think about it and look forward to exploring it and how to pleasure you beyond what you've known. I want you so bad. So this passion is really driving him right now. So let's take a look at whatever else spirit wants to tell us. All right, um, and, 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 and let's look at what we got left here. All right, can you tell us another aspect that we need to know about this masculine, please? <clears throat> this masculine collective energy. Okay, things are about to change rapidly, they just said. That would be this energy. Or maybe, yeah, I just felt like this is that fill in card. Maybe the villain, you know, he's he's running away from being a villain anymore to embrace your love. He said he just said your love has cured him. I don't know what that means, but that's awesome. Okay, so he's putting putting an effort in. Maybe he's ready to put an effort in and express his love to you that he's been holding back. Feeling more confident, feeling more courageous, feeling fiery, inspired excited i feel him giggling to himself again this energy of like him gigg giggling like this is kind of fun actually creating myself and rearing up and doing like you know dancing to the beat to his own beat he's liking it he's feeling a little a little wild a little uh rogue you know yeah that's a yes and <clears throat> he's being he's being cutting good for him you know he's being confident and he's I feel like he's, he's, um, he's learning how to really, it makes me think of like when I do energy work sometimes and I'm telling evil energy or bad energy to back off, sometimes it backs off of like 10 feet, you know, and it's just kind of waiting. And I'm looking at it like, no, you need to leave. Like, I don't want you to back off 10 feet. I want you to like completely give up and, and turn away right now. Um, so then I keep working with the energy of it until if they finally, you know, I try all these different angles to work out what's the key to this person going away. So the masculines might be like having to tap into that intuition of, okay, if I tell them this, or if I come from this angle, if I come from that angle, just feeling it, not thinking it through necessarily, although this guy is a thinker, but intuiting, maybe putting the two together to intuit and do some energy work to, you know, figure out like what is the best angle to make them completely back off and give up and just leave me alone and let me do my thing. <clears throat> yeah, he's learning to go away from his worries and any negativity. He's learning to stay positive in the center of the storm, which I do feel like there's a storm coming for these guys. You know, the uh, divinely guided tarot just uh, talked about this tower moment coming for some of these guys. Um but it's something that's needed to get him running, to get him going. And some healing is coming, some giggling and silliness and be feeling like a child and 
joy, great joy is coming. And when you get the sun card with all the rest of the cards, it basically means that it turns the whole thing very positive. So, you know, if you felt like, you know, him getting patience was like a bad thing, like, oh my gosh, I've already had so much patience and we're waiting. It's like, if it, they just said it's very, very temporary. And I just looked at the words like a boss. So he's being like a boss. He's taking charge of his life. He's getting into that emperor energy. It's a very positive thing. A very good thing. He's taking control of his life is what I feel. He's taking control maybe of all the villains in his life. He's getting rid of all the villains. He's seeing them for what they are now. Am I right, spirit? Yeah, he's getting balanced. And this might be a road trip. He might be taking a trip out to come see you. Uh, what else? You guys are going to have a passionate new beginning soon. Very soon. A new inspired life. A new, a whole new life opening up for you guys. And it's it's got limitless possibilities. Why not? When true love comes together, it's amazing how miraculous it can be. And he knows that. He feels that. He senses it. Listening to that third eye, listening to that intuition is sparking a dream to come alive. I feel like her eyes are about to open. If they did, I'd jump. <laughs> you know, though, <clears throat> there's an alive energy to that in that moment. It just really felt like her eyes were about to open. Yeah, look at that. He's getting in his power. He knows he's a man with the Midas touch. And look at that. He's totally chill and confident. Whatever he's doing right now to get in his power, he's kicking ass. He's doing it, an amazing job. Like, you'd be really proud of him if you saw what he was doing or heard about what he was doing, you know, is doing. It's awesome. It's the end of a difficult period. He's setting the burden down and walking away. Look at that. He may not have much left after everything, but he's walking away with his integrity. He's walking away with honor. He's walking away with the best of what he's got with him. And he looks like he's headed to you. He's headed to come see you. Am I right? Yeah, look at that. He's, he's planning a fresh new start with you, a whole new life opening up. You're everything he's ever wanted. He may even be thinking about getting you pregnant. So, yeah, he knows you guys will be abundant. And you guys will be able to recuperate whatever's been lost whatever loss he's had to take. So we're going to get some advice from the unicorns and then we'll look at a quick message for those in, in union as well. Okay. So what is a message? Maybe, um, I don't know, spirit, you decide whether this is going to be for the feminines or for the masculines. Okay. Enter the magic. Live in the now and seize the moment. I think that's good advice for both. Now let's just see what the card says. These cards are so cool. And they actually give you a cute little exercise to do. Some of you, um, I've recommended you know, using these cards with your children. Pick a unicorn card every day and you know do the little exercise that says, okay, the past is over. The future is a fresh, clean slate. The present moment is the most important there will be ever be in your life. The thoughts and feelings you have and the decisions you take this very instant will create your future. That's why he's being real careful <clears throat> and deliberate, he just said. In this magical second, you can decide to receive the happiness you deserve. Your guidance is to ask your unicorn to hold you in a now moment. Use it with wisdom. Your unicorn is reminding you that soul satisfaction, contentment, and joy are your birthright. So seize this opportunity to release all attachments to other time frames. When you've done so, practice living in the now so that each moment becomes happy, healthy, and love-filled, present. Um, a contented or joyful uh, present automatically creates a beautiful future, and you don't even have to plan it. That's right. You don't have to have it all planned out. It will, it will inevitably come to you if you choose to enrich the present moment. Remember that unicorns and the angelic realms are supporting you with love. So allow yourself to bathe in the wonder of today and you will step graciously into a magical tomorrow. 
Find yours live in the now, the directions. Okay, find a quiet space and close your eyes. Call in unicorn energy and sense a ball of diamond white sparkling light forming around you. You are rising up in the ball as if in a fast lift. You are in a high frequency space above your life. Here there is no past or future, only the magic of now. For an instant, pure unicorn light purifies and illuminates your aura. Anything is possible. Bathe in this moment. Return to earth and open your eyes. Then step into the magic. The affirmation is, at this moment, now, all is well. All right. Now let's do a message for those of you in a relationship. I think we'll do another one of these. Maybe another one of those as well. Okay, so for those of you who are in union, meaning you are dating or um, living together, like you're uh, talking on a regular basis, this is going to be some guidance for you guys. All right. Give us some advice and guidance for those divine couples at this time. Oh, my God. Patience. The same as the masculines. Wow. So everybody's kind of, you know, it. This, this also has the feel of knowing something's about to happen and not making a move until things have shifted. Um, our financial system is about to crash. Our world is about to change. Some industries are ending or just being completely transformed. Um, There's so much right now that's about to come out. So much, so many truths and secrets revealed in our world. Um, There's going to be some kind of massive event that's shocking that's going to come up. So it could be that the universe is kind of slowing everybody down and saying, just wait, just a moment. It's like waiting for the end of a video where they say, wait till the end, just wait till the end, because it's going to be a victory, you guys, it's going to be good, uh, whatever is going to happen, but but it's just like the universe is just kind of like, not yet, not yet, hold on, hold on, okay, go, you know, you got to be ready to run when the moment strikes, when you feel moved to. <clears throat> Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found, thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help you, us find things we uh, never even realized were lost. Oh, this is also kind of some of that energy that was there about um, if you've had things stolen from you or if you've had, um, you know, if somebody has done you wrong in some way, it could be an apology coming you know, an unexpected apology from someone or this, or some, some, it could be about objects, but it also could be, it could be discovering some of these truths also kind of bring you back to something that like maybe a little seed had happened and been planted a long time ago and you weren't quite sure whether to follow that or not. And now with the truth, you're like, oh my gosh, you like have an epiphany or realization and you're like, oh my gosh, I found myself again. I found the clarity that I needed. I found the proof that I needed. This makes so much sense. Like it starts to come together. Um, Okay. Wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wiser than your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. So it looks like you guys might be working through some kind of a challenge as well. Um, And they just said, all is not lost. All is not lost. So whatever this is that you're, about to go through or are going through, like just pick up the pieces. Nobody needs to be blamed for anything, anything, no matter whose fault, you know, it seems to be, you guys just take it for what you've got and pick up, pick up those pieces, work as a team to rebuild and do with it what you can. That's the best way to handle any kind of a setback like that is to work as a team together um, and not point a finger but find solutions. 
Uh, anything else that they need to know? This one of these, okay. Ancient knowledge. There is a flame inside, inside your heart, a light that stems from the dawn of time. Ancient love and ancient knowledge are being rekindled. Um, I do know a lot of people are kind of tapping into their past lives right now. So you guys could probably, um, you know, do some meditating on some past lives you guys have had together and maybe how, how that could be causing some of this issue. Close your eyes, connect with and feel the loving wisdom you hold and let it flow out from your heart and transform your life. Okay. Um, Breaking barriers. I'm expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. And they said the the only real suffering you're going to go through is the barriers that you create with your own mind. So get out of your head and get into your heart and talk from the heart. Have a heart to heart. Believe in magic. True magic is abounding in my life. So think optimistically and think of solutions. Why isn't that showing up very well? Okay. <laughs> um, maybe be praying, you know, thank you, God, so much for, for bringing some incredible miracles for us to find a solution to this issue that we're facing. Okay. Have faith and hope. Yeah, because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you just can't see yet. So be praying for that to, to uh, be shown to you. Thank you, guys, for finding. Thank you, guys, for finding an incredible solution, for an incredible, miraculous solution that makes us laugh and feel silly about even worrying about it. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation. I feel like this is digging out truths. You know, finding that deeper knowledge from ancient wisdom from the past lives. Um, so I feel like this is taking a time out and um, really tapping into what's what's gone on in the past lives and healing that. Patience, now is the time to learn and study. And maybe these masculines are also, see, all the masculines are going through the same thing, whether they're single or they're in a relationship with their divine partner. So they're, they might also be studying on how to break barriers within a relationship to make it healthy. Um, you know, how to assert good boundaries and how to communicate effectively and clearly. And give it to God. Let yourself sparkle and shine. Give it to God, says, take a deep breath and on the exhale, release the situation to God for healing and answers. And then let yourself sparkle and shine as you are guided to be bold. And show your bigger than life side side to the world. I'm getting tingling on my head big time. Kind of like she probably feels right now too. (laughs) Okay, one more card to go right in the front. Stepping into your power. You're strong beyond measure. Wow, see, they are in the same space. It's just different because they're in the relationship now. So, and they feel supported, I just got. They feel supported by their person, by you. Build in breaks and saunter slowly. So these masculines, some of them can be workaholics and they just need to take their time. Um, you know, this morning, Nala came up and um, she laid in front of me on the table and she never does that. It's very, very rare. I mean, it happened the day I met her pretty much. And that's been it. But she, because she's usually kind of antsy and she'll just, she'll walk right in and walk right out. Like she doesn't sit still. They both kind of do that sometimes in different situations. But so Nala did that. And then my, I was looking at my phone um, while she was laying there and she bit, she was, she kept biting the phone. So I was like, you know what? You're right. This is a precious moment. And I just need to set the phone aside and forget the phone. So I just sat there and enjoyed her for several, for several minutes and just loved it. Absolutely soaked it up. So the masculines need to be doing that right now. Don't make it all about money. Gosh, you guys sometimes can be so obsessed with whatever you need to do to, to feel worthy. And it's just like, just be, just be, just be you. Just relax and just be you with your person. 
isn't any pressure. You don't have to earn anything. You already have her. Just keep coming from your heart and speaking your truth from the heart. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> 23. Okay. And then we're, then we're done here. And this was so like ex extensive and explorative. I don't, I'm not going to do um, an extended. Okay. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. It seems like everywhere around you, people are chattering about how confident they are and just how freeing it feels. You wish you could relate to them, but you haven't gotten there yet. Listen, it's all right. Confidence is not an instant or an overnight evolution. Just like everything else, it takes time, practice, and a lot of unlearning of toxicity. So good for you masculines who are in these relationships. And, you know, you, we all bring our baggage, but, you know, it looks like you're working through it and you're building up that confidence within yourself. And that's, you know, just being willing to be in it and work through those feelings you know, that's, that's incredible. And that's what life is about is you just learn these lessons and you just keep getting better all the time. So, you know, just, uh, you're, we're all a work in progress. Just be patient with yourself. You're stepping into your power. So congratulations. And I'm going to do a blessing for all the masculines right now and the feminines, actually. I'll, let me do a separate one for the masculines. Okay. I'm going to take it. I say, I'm on. They said, um, keep your secrets close to your heart. Like, don't, don't be telling too many people about your plans. Um, or Because it feels like some people are out to sabotage you at every turn. So just be real, real careful who you trust um, going forward. <clears throat> I, for some reason, I feel specifically like, too, like mass, too many masculines trusting their mothers. And their mothers really aren't out for their best interest. They're out to manipulate you and get what they want out of the situation. Hopefully this isn't you, but um, if it, if that rings a bell, if the, if you're in union and your partner is saying something to that effect, then I'm here to back that person up to say that, yeah, she's right. You don't see things because you've been manipulated your whole life by this person, but you need to start seeing it for what it is um, and start standing in your truth and being independent of, of anybody who's trying to manipulate you, anybody at all. Uh, so, okay. They said, you're so much stronger than, you know, just act strong and you'll, and you'll like, like pretend if you need to act strong. And, and after a while you'll, feel strong. You'll just be strong. Um, you'll get used to it, uh, fitting in those shoes. Now they're talking about, um, they showed me the eagle, which to me represents the higher self. You need to quiet your mind, make sure that you meditate or, or just learn to drop into your heart more and connect your heart and your head when you're making decisions. Stay in the present moment is also what that means because that's when you hear your guidance the best. And it does not, it's not like a voice that says it's not a real obvious thing. It's something you have to feel into. You got to get, you got to get your feet wet with listening to the intuition. Um, but always go toward what, what makes your heart feel free. What makes your heart sing, what brings you joy is the most important thing. And that just rhymed. <laughs> Masculines, you can ask yourselves, what does being mean to me? How interesting. So really dive into being in the moment and seeing what that, what that feels like and what that looks like for you. Okay, so feminines. I'm gonna pull a card for the feminines and overall energy of right now. Vast vistas, you're about to expand your horizons. So I'm gonna do a blessing for those. They want me to pull a couple of other cards. Healing, you need to focus on your healing right now. Healing, positive transformation is, is occurring. 
on a soul level, the answer to your question is yes. And I just heard that the question is, will this happen soon? Yes, it will. Guiding children. You are good at helping counseling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So I feel like that's going to mean so many different things to so many different people. It could be if you're doubting your parenting skills or if you'll be a good mother. Yes, you will be. Um, but I also feel like your children are even guiding you to, for you guys to come together uh, to birth them. You know, your future child is like beckoning you guys and helping you guys come together. This also feels like a jack in the box. Like he might just jump out and surprise you. Um, and this is your sun shining out from the night. You know, it's like the sun's going to come up. The sun's going to come up. So if you've been kind of in a dark space, like he's going to illuminate it. Um, yeah, and it's like your children are protected. If you have children already, like um, you are a good parent. You're being, you're being given a, like a pat on the back. And their fairies are protecting, fairies are protecting you guys. Um, and also, I just saw a post that said, anything divinely put together or divinely guided is also divinely protected. So you guys, you guys are, don't worry, your masculine has got this. So just trust him and um, just know that he's, he's working it out. He's, he's listening to his intuition. He's stepping into his power, you know. Plant seeds of intention, go, grow, and glow. So I, this is, I feel like something is about to sprout from your, in, from your seeds that you've already planted. That's the second time planting seeds has come up. Okay. So a blessing for the divine feminines. Hama anate hi in sase on. I feel like some of you have like reached to go touch your ring finger and there was no ring there. Um, and, it, and you were like, oh my gosh, did I lose my ring? And then you're like, wait a minute, I'm not even married. If any of you just experienced something like that, um, then you, then it's, it's going to be uh, quicker than you think. It's going to be like a whirlwind. Can I get confirmation of that, please? Wow. The Knight of Cups is going to arrive with a romantic offer. Yep. He's going to stop ignoring you because he knows you're, you're, you know, an opportunity that can't be missed. Yeah, he's just got to walk away from the toxicity and the people pleasing. And come for his queen of pentacles, the good queen of pentacles, the one that's abundant, one that's calm, cool, and has been keeping her head about all this madness over here that her masculine's been going through. And he's going to, he's going to come present that offer. Okay. Yeah. He's going to stop ignoring you. He really regrets ignoring you for as long as he did. He wants to express his love to you. So, yep. All right. They're protecting you through this crazy turmoil we're about to go through. They're protecting both of you. And and they said, let the truth softly fall on you rather than it being uh, like really a shock to your system or traumatizing to your system, but more like, okay, yeah, I can take this. All right, give me a little more. Okay, I can take that and keep putting it on you until it really clicks. All right, your union is blessed. So just be a bit more patient. Um, a lot of moving parts right now. And uh, yeah, things are coming into balance. And then, and then there's going to be a night of swords energy where he just comes at you pretty, pretty quick. So, all right, you guys have a beautiful, beautiful next couple of weeks. 
Um, don't, you know, take whatever happens with a grain of salt as best you can. Stay in the moment through, through it. Be the observer of it to help transform it. You know, be the outsider looking at you, observing the information. I know a lot of information was just dumped, like a lot of incredible truths were just leaked um, to the masses. If you guys want that information, I'd be happy to supply it. Contact me in Telegram and I'll give you the whole list. I mean, there's probably like 20 videos. Um, So, yeah, contact me if you want that information for sure. Um, So, yeah, be easy on yourself. Don't take things too seriously. Don't. Don't act on it, whatever it is. Don't act on it. Just be still. Go still within yourself before you have any kind of a, you want to respond, not react. And whatever the masses are told to do, I wouldn't do whatever that is, if there is anything. (laughs) Just, you know, just be still and wait for the answers to come to you. Go into that eagle space of your higher self, quiet your mind, and you will be led through it just fine. Um, yeah, that's also part of, part of the letting go, letting God take care of the situation. Can we get some cards on the world situation, please? Make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. Holy cow. It's like the fireworks are about to go off. Contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating on what you truly desire. You're creating the future, so be meditating on what it is that you want to create in our world. What is it you want the future to look like? Wow. So new romance with a a spiritual basis is here for you now. So this may be whatever the shocking thing is makes your masculine come to you and and hold you. And you guys can can begin. Um, Consult an expert if you need to. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in the area. So um, if you know a truther like myself, uh, you may go to them for more information, you know, like access those files, get take a look at the things that I'll send you on Telegram. Um, you know, go to anybody who's warned you before, who's tried to tell you some of these things and um, and just start digging into things a little deeper. Okay, and have faith. Everything's going to work out just fine. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Remain positive and playful. Have a sense of humor about it all. Okay, you guys, sending you my love. And um, I'll talk to you in another couple of weeks, hopefully. If YouTube goes down, I'm hoping that it comes back up. Um, I can be found on Signal. You know, if you guys want to download that app, you'll be able to contact me there and find out where, whatever, you know, wherever I've gone. (laughs) Um, Instagram might also be gone. A lot of, a lot of uh, social media as well as the mainstream media might disappear. So don't panic, just write it out. Um, No, you know, do the visualization, just invite uh, you know, because it just feels like the, you know, when the mainstream media comes back up again, if it does, it's going to be honest. It's going to be truthful news. Um, and a lot of things are being corrected. So, or put straight or put right. So um, when things come back up again, it will be in the right way, including the financial system. The quantum financial system has been put in place and is about to Um, come in place of what we've always had in existence. So get ready for a lot of change, you guys. Get ready for a lot of change, but it's all for the better. Um, Yeah, and now that you've asked for help, let uh, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. So ask your angels to help. Ask your guides, your unicorns, your fairies, whatever you got. (laughs) Ask them to help you out and they will be there for you. But you have to be open to receiving as well. And if you've, if you've been praying to see the truth in all things, you got to be willing to see the truth when it comes. What else? <laughs> You're going to be flying high. So keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions. They just said flying the coop. Some of you are going to be flying the coop and charging forward. 
and a black unicorn. Those have been coming up lately. Okay, guys, talk to you later.